Hey, what's good, everyone? Local Ice Man here. Just about to start day two here. Gonna throw some lines down on the ice. That's the majority of work we're gonna be doing today. Got Andy and Jimmy already here. Jake's gonna show up here in a little bit. Like I said in the last video, we're gonna throw just one layer of water down just to get rid of that kind of film that's built up on the ice. There's a few spots, I wanna say in front of the crease over there. There's a few spots over here that I wanna kind of put some paint down and we'll use a spray bottle, build up really quick before we start doing anything major as far as uh, flooding the ice. But there's a few spots, kind of like some footprints right by the door, right in front of the crease that I wanna take care of before the ice gets too thick. So we'll do one quick layer of water going on over the ice. Then we'll put the goal, goal lines down first probably. Then we'll hit the blue lines, red line. Then I'll kind of film what I'm doing and we're doing time-lapse stuff and I'll do my best to explain things as I go and filming it. But essentially, if I don't get to it, we're gonna pull a string down the center of the ice to find the center. We'll, we'll measure the... All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I think it's better for me to explain this after I did it versus before it because it's more fresher in my memory and I can remember exactly what I did versus you know, thinking what I did. So essentially how I approached this is I did the red lines first uh, and how I did that, you saw here, you're gonna see here, I put a string across. We used a lot of string in the video. When you see me just kind of moving around and stuff, or at least the video I made with music, we're kind of moving around, it doesn't look like we're doing anything. We're laying strings to get things lined up. So this is like Peyton, there's a lot of prep, you know, then you get into the, the actual work. So how I approached this is I laid, you know, I, again, string across, and I did my red, red lines first, then we did the blue lines, then we did the red line. Then after that, we got the centers of both goal lines and the center line, and our, our rink, you know, because it's our rink, I noticed that the distance, you know, on the red line to red line here, at least across this way, is a little bit different so you can't use the same number i suggest when you pull across your finer center you do it on both sides don't use one side and the other side it's going to be off just a i, I bet you at least an inch if if anything <laughs> more. so after finding the centers of these two here these two here we measured off the 22 feet this way right here making sure i'm correct over here i don't know why they did this they wish they had the 22 feet on either side but maybe flip this over here this way so so I measured, we measured off 22 feet, 22 feet, 22 feet, 22 feet, and pulled the string all the way across. And we pulled the string all the way across here for the center. And after we just did one side, we didn't pull a third string. So basically what we did is, you know, the center string, this string right here, we got the dots all in place. We put little metal washers, melt those in place. That's a, a fantastic idea as far as I think that, after doing that, I think I remember at the start of training, that's kind of exactly what they did. And one thing with the, the dots, I was a little hesitant because we have a little nail that they lay the dot down and put the nail over it and kind of scrab it with the paper one. It didn't really matter because we could probably we could put paper over it. If we scratched up or, or, or ripped a section, we could just take a little piece of paper and put it over. I guess we could have done that here. But I scribed my circles before I laid my dots down. So essentially we got these two dots. Uh, scrabbed a circle, scrabbed a circle, then laid these two dots down, and then we took the string from here, and then we moved it over here. We just we, we just pulled one string over here to the other side. We guess we could have ran three separate strings. So we pulled the string over here. We had our measuring marks at 22 feet. We put our two dots down, scrabbed a circle, put the other two dots down. Then at that point, we just moved along, and we did lined all the lines and stuff that one we just kind of kind of did the creases went down as far as we had the fabric so when we we're doing the hash marks someone was laying the creases down so uh, let me see i'm kind of forgetting everything anything there so but that's that's kind of how i got the dots all lined up this way and visually and also as well as this way and you're measuring five feet i don't want to have to say when you lay this dot down here you're measuring five feet from this line right here to the center and you see me there i make sure that's that dot is center on the string this way as well as this way. Uh, I'm not sure if there's too much more I could add to this right now. Uh, just making sure that when you're measuring your 22 feet, you're measuring from the back of the goal line. I believe that's what it looks like to me because the back of the goal is, is where the, the puck goes in the net. So that's kind of where I measured the 20 feet out. And then you have your dots that are 22 out. But I didn't measure 22 feet out from this way. Uh, I just used a string that I pulled across the ice versus you know, finding the center here to measure the 22. 
I, I just one more thing that you have to one more error or variable you, uh, I don't know it just gets kind of messy at our rank here so I think that's just the best way to approach it for me at least and as far as the uh, the hash marks so basically for the hash marks essentially basically did the same thing I guess the get this one down right here so we get everything oriented in the right orientation here so we basically measured off nine inches on either side of this dot wait if this is if this is the the boards over here and that's the far side of the ice we extend the string far past the, the lines here that way you can line the lines up nice and straight so we measured off nine inches and nine inches and pulled and, and same thing basically from on this side here this side here this side here this side here and we pulled the string basically start from back here all the way across here two strings all the way across and same thing going across this way but those ones are are two feet apart once you get your measurements you're two feet across from your excuse me four feet two feet from center two feet from center so two feet from center two feet from center same thing here but we're way back here when we're making our our mark so or pulling the string from here to here so essentially you got two strings this way two strings this way so you could do these four right here you leave your two sets of strings over here as you move over here, once you get these laid down, you lay them down on the outside of the string. It just works out better that that, that way. And uh, oh, coming over here, you, you put your two sets of string this way, and you could do these ones, and you, you pull your pull your long sets this way, your sets of strings. Then you could do this one. Then you finish with this one. Then you have a bunch of string at the end to wind up. So that's kind of how I make sure that if you know, especially when you're standing here, you make sure all these things are lined up straight. Cause that's the key. I mean, like. I don't know if you measure it just off of a hair on either side. I mean, just make sure that everything looks looks straight and pulls straight, and it should be fine. I don't, I'm not sure too much more I could add to that. I just want to make sure I get that out here before I start making the video because as I was making the video, or as I was make, or as the day went on, I should say, it kind of things were more fresher in my memory, and I remember things as I went, opposed to sitting there. On top here like I'm making my little pre-speech or my introduction here into the video I was trying to remember as I did it you know three four five years ago and after I've done it it's more easier to explain I'm trying to look at this right here to see if there's anything else that I, I didn't cover and how I approach this other than that if I missed anything I'll go ahead and cover at the end so let me go ahead and cut back to me babbling up here on the mezzanine uh, everything goes well we would be done at the end of the day Andy's here, Jimmy's here, Jake's about to show up. We'll hit this thing hard, get done really quick. We'll check back in here with you later. So the goal line's a red line. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a, a piece of string. We're gonna freeze a piece of string on the corner there and run it all the way across and freeze it over here on the other side. So, um, Come on, Jimmy. Are you with me? Yeah, make sure you pull it nice and tight. Yep. Freeze it in. Don't freeze the whole ice on that string end. It's gonna be hard to get it up. Just do a couple spots along the way. There we go. As you see it start freezing, like you can see it start freezing, you can take your hand off it. Pull it straight. Alright. Oops. Yeah, you can just announce it. Better. A little water. 
tried to is I just ran my hand a little bit. That went. We got both red lines done, goal lines, I should say. Time to start doing the blue line. All right, got it lined up right here, the piece of string. Stretched nice and tight. Jake's holding the other side, and Jimmy's on the spray bottle. Andy's in charge over there with the roller. There you go. See how Jimmy's doing that? You don't want to spray the whole line. You don't want to go big Andy and try to spray the entire string. Just a couple spots here and there. Then someone can start spraying lines too. Until we get caught up here. All right, starting to work on the second blue line here. Come on, Jim, my feet are getting cold. <laughs> That's what your girlfriend's for. Her boyfriend was out in the van waiting for her. Oh, what? She dropped, she dropped off serious. We just got the goal lines down, the blue lines down, the red lines down. Jimmy's going around spraying the lines. We're going to try to build up the lines kind of prematurely, so to say. So the next step for us is to get to measure the center lines of each one. And essentially, we really only have to do the goal line and not goal line. Do the center line and we'll stretch the string all the way across. Get in the center. Then we'll measure out to get our dots, which I believe are... I'm going to say 22 feet, but I know that's not right. But I am actually correct, 22 feet. Basically right here, we'll measure out 22 feet here, and we'll pull a string all the way across and measure out 22 feet right here. So as soon as we find the center, we'll measure out 22 feet, 22 feet, and we're going to run a string all the way up and down the ice, and we'll lay our dots down. So they're all straight. And as soon as we get our dots, then we'll, then we'll etch our etches and then go from there. All right. Here's the official width of the rink, 84 feet and nine inches. All right, we got Jake running down there at the string. We've measured 22 feet from the center. Did that on the goal lines. That's pretty much about it. This is to get the, the dots all the way down. So instead of measuring 22 feet from every blue line or every dot, measuring 22 feet from, uh, from just to each goal line, this visually will get all these dots all lined up in a row versus one being just a little bit off. You got it? All right, Andy's gonna spray the line. And we're gonna have to go through and measure where the dots are gonna extend from, which is, I don't know, I gotta get the little piece of paper there. We're gonna place little washers, either plastic or rubber washers where the dot goes. Lay the dot down, because we still have to, um, I don't want to make a hole in new fabric dots. The paper dots, I didn't mind making a hole. As soon as you find the dots, then we'll find the center circle and etch the center circles next. All right, now we're getting our center line all the way down the center. Get our 22 feet from center. We marked our first circle. We're now not going to etch it. We're going to find the center of them. We're going to find the center of the dot. With a tape measure, I guess, but. You see that 
Oh, you can see it. That didn't move? Nope, it's frozen in. This way. Yeah, I'm gonna get the tape measure first before. Jakey, slide that tape measure over here. Yeah, I don't know. I love English on that. There it goes, golf. <laughs> It doesn't have to be really perfect, does it? There's not really a blue fish for that. Alright, we got two of the dots laid in here. The reason why I didn't put the other dot here, because it is fabric, typically we have paper dots. And how we use to find or etch the circle, I don't want to poke a hole through it, so... We're gonna etch these two circles next, then lay the dots down, then go over here, pull the string, get the two dots, etch the circles, lay the two dots down, then go from there. And go from there, basically be scribing, doing the circles, then the hash marks come last. All right, this is right here is what we use to scribe the circles. It's just basically a piece of wood with two nails on it. I've kind of been here, vlogger and me has save on it, so cork here on this side so we're basically gonna put the center nail right there then etch this thing all the way around we'll do that for the two dots on this side then we'll lay the dots down and get the other side just pulled the second string for the other side of the dots we're gonna do the two dots in this towards the center first five feet from the, the blue line then we're gonna do these two dots and, and do some circles All right, the next steps we're gonna do, other than putting the creases down, all we gotta do is put the hash marks down, this way, this way, and the ones over there. So how I do it is I find the center of the dot, we got the center of the dot down there, measure out nine inches from either side, I'm gonna pull a string all the way down, and pull a string all the way down, so the hash marks, and we're gonna pull it past there, and we'll pull two strings, going to widthwise to get everything lined up. I got the first string pulled. It's extending back beyond the dot on each side because you're gonna line the hash marks up. So I got two strings going this way and I got two strings going this way and now I'm gonna start laying the hash marks really belong. I have to go over there and kind of see exactly where to go. But we got the strings extending out here. Got a little piece of paint that chipped out when the square fell on it. I don't know who brought the square on the ice, but they're square. So we got the strings extending out past the circle on each side to put the hash marks down. And we're going to make sure everything's lined up this way. Then we'll start going this way. Then we'll move the strings down over to the other end and continue on with there.
I think that may be a three footer, but it looks kind of ragged. Yeah, fucking ragged, you could have It wasn't a huge setback, but it definitely was back like a half hour. Well, good thing you're not paying us. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. That would have been a trick of catastrophe. <laughs> And there we have it. I don't think it turned out too bad. I think the lines are looking good. The paint could have been a whole lot better. We got to do something about that spray bar. We had plenty of pressure through the pump, that's for sure. But the spray nozzles, I think, maybe a little bit closer together would help. And there's a lot to say. I don't know if I'll try justice at the end if I do a wrap-up video or a reflections video. The dots that we have right here are mesh dots, as you saw. And that was really nice because when we were trying to place the mesh dots It was versus the paper dots, it was... A whole lot easier to place the mesh dots and kind of get them oriented in the right orientation just perfectly you know you know trying to think get things everything right and uh, the little where it's kind of cut out the little top part of the the face-off circle uh, with paper those are really hard to get straight and keep straight so having the mesh dots that was uh, I can't tell you how easy it was and how much better it was not easy how much better it was to install those versus paper dots hands down so now as far as the crease goes we did put the mesh crease in i kind of left two other people to kind of do that for me so i definitely trusted them to do it this one came with the the white in the outsides as well as the red outside too it was kind of weird last time that came was just a blue and you had the little red strips from each side you really didn't have the white center and each or the white little parts on each side of the blue so that was a little bit different. I learned that everything went pretty smooth. We started around 7.45 today and got done around just about three o'clock, a little after three, doing all these little dots afterwards with minor hockey. So like I usually said, I don't know if I can add too much more to the conversation here, other than I maybe I probably try to do a reflections video after I reflect on this and, and use your comments and stuff. And, and I'll explain this too. I think I need to explain that. I'll explain that in a different video. You're probably asking questions about that. I need to explain that in the in the philosophy behind that. And I kind of let the person just do it because it didn't really matter. So I don't I don't know. So I'll explain my philosophies or his philosophies behind that and what that is. But other than that, we'll check in tomorrow. We'll start flooding the ice. We're going to start bringing the Zamboni out probably late tomorrow. If not Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Get the ice ready for Monday. I don't think it'll be ready quite Monday. If, we, if it is ready Monday, we'll have to do some light skating on it. Just break it in nice and slowly. And uh, yeah, exciting times. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. Like the local ice man says, stay cool.